Hi, my name's Kate and I work as a project officer with WIC Mix. Recently, I've been working on improving the delivery of health education to patients. Currently, newly diagnosed cancer patients are receiving a lot of reading material and having long conversations with healthcare professionals, which during a time of stress can of course be overwhelming. And the concern is around how much information they're actually taking in. Studies have shown that most patients will process and retain information far better through the use of visual media rather than written or verbal education alone. I've spent some time speaking with the nurses from some of the health services in our region and found that there was a lot of enthusiasm around the idea of using videos to provide some of the general information given to patients. Although there are already videos around, they tend to be quite lengthy and not very visually engaging, so they're not widely used by the health services. The greatest demand seemed to be for chemotherapy and bone marrow transplant education, both pre-treatment and on discharge. So this is where I've directed this project. Currently, most one-on-one chemotherapy and bone marrow pre-treatment education sessions between a nurse and a patient last for around one hour. Studies have shown that patients' engagement in an education session usually starts to drop off around the six minute mark. So we wanted to come up with a way to better utilise both the patient and the nurse's valuable time. By having patients view a short video prior to their session with a nurse, some groundwork can be laid in providing basic education in a concise, consistent and complete manner. This prepares them for the more specific and in-depth information to be discussed during their session. And by breaking up the amount shared in one sitting, hopefully patients will find it easier to retain the information. It may also allow the time spent with a nurse to be shorter, more efficient and less overwhelming. When patients discharge from inpatient wards or day units following treatment, they're usually given more written information and have further conversations with the nursing staff. The problem with these conversations is that the information shared can be forgotten and later needs to be repeated, which is where the value of a rewatchable video comes in handy. With the help of cancer nursing staff from the Royal Melbourne Hospital, St Vincent's, Werribee Mercy and Western Health, we've developed six videos to be used with patients receiving chemotherapy and bone marrow transplants. They've been presented using animation to make them more visually appealing and are hosted by our WICMIX resident cartoon cancer nurse, Joanne. The first is for use with patients due to receive chemotherapy in an inpatient setting, where the time between prescription and delivery is often quite short. This video runs for just over seven minutes, providing an explanation of what chemotherapy is, possible side effects, blood tests, diet and nutrition, how personal relationships and fertility may be affected and symptoms that patients need to seek urgent help for. The second video is similar, but runs for closer to 10 minutes and is for use in outpatient settings where patients often have a dedicated chemotherapy education session prior to their treatment, such as in CERC or chemo day units. It includes additional instructions for taking care at home and outdoors during treatment, such as hygiene requirements, temperature checks, central lines, exercise, environmental factors affecting lowered immunity and chemotherapy cytotoxicity in the home. The third video is for patients to view after they've received chemotherapy, which may be on discharge home from an inpatient ward or when leaving a day unit. This video reiterates the information covered in the pre-chemotherapy education videos, minus the explanation of what chemotherapy is. The fourth video also runs for around 10 minutes, covering information provided to patients when they're discharging from an inpatient unit following a bone marrow transplant. This can be viewed as a complete video or relevant QR codes for each subject can be printed in the health services discharge education booklets to complement the written information. Lastly, the fifth and sixth videos have been created for patients planned for allogeneic and autologous bone marrow transplants to be viewed during their transplant workup stage. 
These videos each run for approximately nine minutes and explain what bone marrow and stem cells are, how they are collected, preparation requirements, diet and nutrition, and the importance of nominating a caregiver. The health services in Western and Central Melbourne see patients from a wide range of different backgrounds. So cultural and linguistic differences can be a common barrier to health education. Last year, our data showed that 41% of cancer patients admitted to health services in the Wickmix region were born overseas. So to assist those with English as a second language, we've organised for the videos to be subtitled into the three most popular languages, Vietnamese, Italian and Greek. With help from our participating health services, these videos have been trialled in their appropriate settings to gain feedback from both patients and nursing staff. Our Wikmix consumer group has also kindly provided valuable feedback, so we're almost ready to launch the finalised videos. If you're interested and would like to use these videos in your healthcare setting, please contact us at Wikmix to be notified once they're ready. They'll be available online through the Wikmix YouTube channel, or we can send you the file to download to your unit's devices for offline viewing.